Hello, Divi Nation, and welcome. This video is a guide to understanding and using Divi's absolute positioning. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so before we start talking about our positioning, what we're going to do here is just to show you uh, what I put together here to easier demonstrate what we're going to be talking about. So all I've done here is I've added a section, a row, and a module. And this section here, I've just added a color so you can see where everything is when I start using the positioning. So here I've used an image module, but of course this can work with any type of module. So the absolute position is one of the four positioning options in Divi. And this is pretty much the static or the default. So pretty much nothing is really applied to this. So it means that this is pretty much what you get. It doesn't have anything. It goes with the flow. Uh, nothing really happens here uh, as you build your elements. Now, let's talk about the uh, the relative because the relative is the next stage because as I mentioned, this is the default one. So the relative is the next item we need to look at. Now, to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to go into our module sections. And by the way, our positioning can work on rows, sections, and modules as well. Okay, so what you want to do is to head over here to advanced and then this is where the positioning are so this is what i've just explained the default so this is pretty much uh, how you'll build, build your website without any positioning right if i click here on this drop down this is where we get to see relative absolute and fixed okay so what we're going to take a look here is at a relative right so now we notice that we have these four corners here and the origin offset here is the top left. Now, when it comes to the relative positioning, uh, relative position elements are kind of static elements in that they follow the normal flow of the page. The main difference is that relatively positioned elements can be positioned using the top, bottom, left, and right properties, also unlike static elements. These can be positioned using the Z index property. So let me show you what we would achieve here if we were to add an offset. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a vertical and horizontal offset. So let's say I add, let's say 25 pixels here and then 25 on the horizontal offset. You can see here that I've pretty much shifted my module here. And if I increase this a bit more, you can see clearly that this is moving. So once I do that, pretty much this is how my module is going to be positioned. And this can work very well if you're designing your website and you'd like to put things at different positions or different places on your website. So as you can see here, you can even further go and do this as well. So pretty much, I mean, however this looks for you is what you'd go for. But this is the, uh, the relative positioning. Now, what you can also do here is you can go into our mobile views here and check and see if the positioning is correct. Now you can see here that pretty much things are not looking great here and you can move around our horizontal offset here by just dragging it back in and you can also play around with our vertical here as well until everything is well positioned. Now, what I also need to remind you is once you activate those positioning points, if you come back and go into your um, modules here, you notice that you now have a handle here. Now, this also works much easier if you want to just position this using your mouse. So you can just drag this into position like that. Okay, so that works as well. All right, so now that we've spoken about the uh, absolute positioning, let's go ahead and talk about the fixed position. All right, so... I'm going to go back in here and let us go into advanced position. So I'm just going to reset everything here. Do the same here. So everything is back to normal. Right. So to go to the fixed, all we need to do is to click here on this drop down and then choose fixed. All right. So let's move on and uh, let's talk about the fixed positioning. So with fixed positioning, it's like absolute position. Elements in the fixed position will break out of the normal flow of the page and have no actual space created within the page. The key difference here is between the absolute and fixed is that the fixed position is relative to the browser window or viewport. In other words, no matter where the element is within the normal flow of the page, once it's given a fixed position, its position will directly relate to the browser's window. You can use the top, bottom, left, right properties to position the element with the viewport because elements 
will often hover behind or in front of other elements on the page. Z index will help order these elements above others. All right, so let's take a look here at uh, this. So as you can see here, I've chosen my fixed positioning. I can also work on my offset here. So you can see here, I can move everything wherever I want. Now, what has happened here is my image has pretty much jumped off and has come out of its frame, so to say. So you can also specify where you want to have this. You can have this on the bottom center. You can have it on the top. So this helps you position your module wherever you want. And this can be pretty much how you want it in your design. So now that I have this position, now you see with this example, I can't really show you until I add more elements to this page. So let me add more items to this page so you can see how far this goes. So I'm just gonna go and choose this layout and just add elements to my page so that you can see how this works. Okay, so I've added more to this page. So as you can see, this here is fixed as I'm scrolling through the whole page. So this is how the fixed positioning works. And also I can drag this to a position that I want just by holding that handle. So as you can see here, this is what I meant where this module here sometimes can go under or above other elements on the page. And this can be fixed using the Z index. So as you can see here, it is really under some of those sections. So now let's say we want to fix this and we want to keep this above all the items on our page. In order for this to stay above everything, what you need to do is to go in and set your Z index. So normally what you do is you can just set your Z index here to a really high number. And then this element here will stay above all your elements on your page. And if there's a case where perhaps it's still above, you can just go into that particular item and reduce the Z index to make sure that this is always at the top. All right, now let's talk about the benefits and the drawbacks of using the Divi absolute position. So the absolute position is just one of the various methods of positioning elements. Therefore, it would be very useful to cover some of the benefits and drawbacks for using absolute position in headers. So the benefits are good design tools. So absolute position it breaks out of the normal flow of the actual space of the element. It doesn't affect the design after positioning takes place. So as you can see here, this jumped out of the row that it was in, and this can be further positioned uh, as a design tool. Okay, so moving on, in, in other words, you can add elements to the page without having to move existing elements around it. So that's one of the really good benefits of using absolute positioning. All right, so let's talk about the, the drawbacks. Now, because absolute positioning elements break out of the normal document flow, it can be difficult to add additional elements near it. They become isolated from other elements on the page. For example, normally in Divi, if you want to add a button under a text module, you can simply add a module and it will automatically reside under the text module. But if the text module was positioned absolutely, you would have to position the button module separately and then use the top, bottom, left, right positioning to get the button under the text module. All right, so let's move on to the other drawback and that is it's less responsive. And also uh, because absolute positioned elements break out of the document flow, it can be difficult to make the positioning uh, responsive for mobile devices. In fact, a lot of developers avoid absolute positioning because of the challenges that it comes with in responsive design. Therefore, it is important to use relative lens units like VW or percentage instead of absolute lens using units like pixels when needed. So when you use VW or percentage, it, uh, it works much better on your mobile devices. But this is one of the drawbacks of using uh, absolute positioning. So I know that um, this can be quite confusing and I hope I explain this in an easy to understand way. But if you wanna read more about absolute positioning, I'm going to leave a link to the post in the description below that has a full article of relative positioning and all these type of positioning that we have for Divi. All right guys, so that's what I have for you in this video. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you 
in the next video.